Hello everyone, this is Hero Linear. Welcome back to my playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX for the Game Boy Color. Previously, we completed Level 5, The Catfish's Maw. Now we need to find our way to the next dungeon. And take care of some other things while we're at it. We also picked up the bow in the village shop in Mabe Village for the pretty price of 980 rupees. That has cleared out my wallet a bit. We're heading over to Animal Village so we can check out Martha's Bay a little more. Sing on, Maron. First, we'll go around this way to reach that cave in the northeastern part of Animal Village. Right over here. We'll blast this open with a bomb. And head on in. Goodbye. And we can blast through here to get to a secret passage. Get out of here, Keese. And goodbye, Zolls. Now we have to throw over a bomb to get rid of that boulder. And then we'll have to make our way around. Goodbye again. Pardon me, sir. Now with the hook shot, we can come over here and claim this piece of heart. That is number 10, I believe. Goodbye. Dashing along. Now we'll head out this way. And go back towards the bay. Bring, bring! Yeah, this is Ulrira. You are starting to like music, eh? Well, a frog named Mamu, who lives in the signpost maze, might know some new songs. But he charges a lot to play them. Bye! Click. Yes, 300 rupees to be precise. We will need to learn the song that he plays. Now with the hook shot, we can go over here. And check out this statue south of level 5. We need the mermaid scale for this. You put the missing scale in the mermaid statue. And now we can go inside and get our prize for the trading sequence. You've got the magnifying lens. This will reveal many things you couldn't see before. And 
For one thing, it reveals the enemies in this room. Bye-bye, enemies. Now we can see a couple of interesting things with the magnifying lens. But first, we'll head back to the dungeon and collect their last treasure chest. It held some rupees, but my wallet was full at the time. Back inside the Catfish's Mall. Ah, the lovely hook shot. Goodbye, Keese. And goodbye, you. Here we are. This room. And you got two. You got two hundred rupees. You're ecstatic. A very nice total. That clears out this dungeon. Pardon me, Mr. Mushroom. Ah, the power of the bow. Now we can come over here and combine our bow with bombs. Get rid of those. And then we can safely leap across. And go in here. Something fishy about this place. Now that takes us in here. And we'll head west. Down the stairway. And we'll sprinkle in some more magic powder to reveal our friend here. Hello, sir. Hey, kid! You woke me up from a fine nap. Thanks a lot. But now I'll get my revenge. Are you ready? Oh, yes. Okay, I'll let you carry more bombs. <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you deserve it. Now look at all that junk. You have to carry. Ha! Take care. See you again. Yes, that is the second prize from him. Increased bomb capacity. Bye-bye, fishy. Go sleep with the fishes. So, that takes care of those treasures. Another arrow for this guy.
So, let us go employ the magnifying lens. The first use will be back in Animal Village. And the old lady is sleeping here in Animal Village now, rather than at Master Urira's house. Yahoo! A new broom! Superb! You're welcome, ma'am. Now into this house with the magnifying lens. Hey, you can see me. You must have a magnifying glass. I'm not a troublemaker. I just want to live in peace. Well, hello, Mr. Mouse. Hi there. It's me, the photographer. You say Zora is in the house? I have to take a picture of that. I'll call it, I found Zora. <laughs> Link seems a little uncomfy. If you keep me a secret, I'll tell you something useful. Go to Taranbo Shores, use the magnifying glass, and you will find someone like me. Very well, good sir. So, back to Taranbo Shores. We'll take the warp back towards Mabe Village. And while we're here, we may as well stump up 300 rupees. We can do that here at the shop. The trendy game. Now there's a little trick you can use to get a specific prize. First, we'll use the B button to position the crane over the upper right corner. Then we'll wait until the prize we want is in the lower left corner. Then hit the A button. And it snags it. It's 30 rupees. You can play the game three more times with this. We'll challenge it again to get that other 30 rupees. For a net profit of 40. Hit A again. And voila! Thirty more rupees. Excellent! Now let's go play in the signpost maze. It is to the south from here. South of this phone booth. Goodbye, enemy. And to you. Goodbye. Now it looks like we need to take a running jump. And here, go this way, 
to the signpost maze. Signpost maze. Well, hello, piece of power. We can feel the power. Now what we have to do... Go this way. Is follow the directions from sign to sign. Go this way, to the south. Go this way, to the west. For this one, we'll need the hook shot and the bracelet. Go this way to the north. Goodbye. Here's the next one. Go this way to the east. Directly to the east, this way. Go this way to the south. Go this way to the east. Go this way to the north. So to the north, to the sign. Go this way to the west. Straight west, to this one. Go this way south. Right to this one. Go this way east. Then go this way to the south. So we'll get rid of this boulder, and then go this way to the west. And here. Great, you did it. Your reward is this way, east, where that hole opened up. So here is our goal. Oh boy, that looks like wart. Ribbit, ribbit. I'm Mamu on vocals, but I don't need to tell you that, do I? Everybody knows me. Want to hang out and listen to us jam? For 300 rupees, we'll let you listen to a previously unreleased cut. What do you do? Yep, we might as well pay. Sorry about the flickering. Sorry about the croaking, too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Croak. You've learned the frog song of soul. It's a very moving tune. It can even liven up unliving things. Very fascinating. If you play this song, you'll make everything around you feel more alive. Yes, a very vital song. Sorry about that flickering. Don't know if it was the emulator or what. Anyway, let's see what Olrira has to say next. Bring, bring, Olrira here. Have you been to the Face Shrine? It is north of Animal Village. That is a very interesting ruin. Click. So, Face Shrine should be next on our list. First, though, there is something to check out down on the beach. 
Turn on both doors. by sea urchins and Dr. Ox. Now we want to come to this cave. Right here. And now we can see this Horaya. I found a good item. Washed up on the beach. I'll trade it to you for what you have in your B button. Okay, we want to trade the shovel for this. You got the boomerang in exchange for the item you had. Give me back the boomerang. I beg you. I'll return the item you gave to me. Not now, sir. Thank you. Oh, yeah, uh, okay, whatever. And here's the boomerang in action. Actually, pretty decent here. Ah, a guardian acorn. Now let's go see what we can do about this, about that face shrine. See you later, Bow Wow. head back to Animal Village, and then make our way north. We'll make our way north from this tunnel, past these enemies, and we're now in the Face Shrine area. Ah, oh, it's the Owl again. Woot! There are two shrines, one to the north, the other to the south. First head south, where ancient ruins speak of the windfish. You will learn much there. Oh, uh, will we? So, let's see what we'll learn. So we'll head through the ruins area. And these boomerangs. The boomerang will make those Armos soldiers very easy. Goodbye, Armos Knights.
They seem to drop a lot of arrows. And here's the entrance to Ruin. Now we want to equip the bow... ...for this guy. Another repeat boss from A Link to the Past. Very vulnerable to the bow. We can just stand here and shoot arrows at him. Goodbye. And he drops. You've got the face key. Very nice. Ah, uh, what have we here? A mural? Let's light the torches and then read it. To the finder, the Isle of Koholint is but an illusion. Human, monster, sea, sky, a scene on the lid of a sleeper's eye. Awake the dreamer, and Koholint will vanish, much like a bubble on a needle. Cast away, you should know the truth. What? Illusion? It seems to depict the owl and a strange fish. Most curious. And ominous. More arrows are under these pots. Hello again, Owl. Hoot! I see you have read The Relief. While it does say the island is but a dream of the windfish, no one is really sure. Just as you cannot know if a chest holds treasure until you open it, so you cannot tell if this is a dream until you awaken. The only one who knows for sure is the windfish. Trust your feelings. Some day you will know for sure. Very strange. We'll head back to Mabe Village before heading to the Faith Shrine. Hello, shopkeeper. I need some arrows. Ten arrows, ten rupees. Let us buy. Thanks a lot, and come again. Some more arrows. Absolutely, sir. That should be good enough. Setting us up for the next dungeon. We'll take care of that dungeon in the next episode. This is Hey Rotlinia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I will see you again next time.